All right, y'all, Detroit pastor pled guilty to uh, shooting and killing a transgender woman. Pastor Albert Weathers shot the transgender woman, Kelly Stowe, and dumped her body on the street. What do you think about this story? Real quick, he's facing eight years in prison for second-degree murder and two years for fire, felony firearm. Wow, only eight years? That is crazy. Al, what do you think? You know what? I, 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 this is horrible, and it's even... It's even with what the trans community has been telling us for years as it relates to their safety and their lives being endangered every day. The sad part is, is this man is known to be attracted to, the, to, to trans women. He goes down to that part of town and has hired various trans women in that community. A lot of them stop seeing him because not only is he really aggressive, but he is also cheap and he does not pay after the services are rendered. And I think in this particular case, what happened is this trans woman that he murdered used to be a football player and stands six, four, six feet, four inches tall. And I think he tried to take advantage of her. And I think she pushed back and it got into a very ugly situation and it resulted to the life of someone who didn't deserve to die. I think he should be put underneath the jail for this disgusting act of hate crime that he has committed, not only on that particular trans lady that he killed, but all the other trans women in that community that he has wreaked havoc on. Did you say he is 6'4", or the, the trans no, woman? No, the trans woman that he killed was 6'4", and played football in college. So it was a big trans woman. So this one, he tried to bully. In my opinion, he tried to bully her and probably tried to get away without paying because that's what he's known to do with the other trans women on the boulevard because he's so big and aggressive. And I think this particular trans woman was like, I'm not having it. And it, 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 it turned ugly. And he resulted to killing her. The real Arredondo said, didn't his God say thou shalt not kill? And HR said, what is his pastor's congregation saying? And so uh, be it one said, that's it. Throw him under the jail. Uh, Q, what are your thoughts? Um, I got multiple thoughts here. First things first, I would love to have a conversation with the trans community presently as it relates to employment opportunities for them. Me not being armed with all the facts. I understand back in the days that they had to do sex work because it was the only work available to them. My statement may sound ignorant what I'm about to say, but I'm curious to know now, is the street walking out of necessity still, or is it more of a rites of passage thing, a, a trend, a this is what we do, a social norm for that community? Because it's very dangerous work and I mean, I live in the bubble of Miami, Florida. We're, we're kind of liberal down here. Trans people work normal nine to five everyday retail jobs every day, all day long. So I'm just curious to know why they have to walk the streets still. But the other thing that I want to mention, guys, is that community really has real things going on. All right. And re regardless of how we feel about some of it, everything that's been going on, especially a lot of the stuff that's been going on in the last two weeks, your feelings actually mean nothing when people are out here dying, all right? In order for you to feel something, at least you're alive. These people are out here dying, and that's a real problem. I'm going to leave it at that. Yeah, we are a very violent society to gays, the transgender people, and women. Women. And kids.